Hello everyone and welcome to another playthrough in Phantom Investigation. In today's episode, we're going to undertake yet another challenge. This challenge comes to us from... Well, that's weird. There's no author. And the only thing it says is... Survive? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the version 1.10 update. I myself am HockeyGoalie770, and I'm going to be taking you on a guided tour, or at least a survival course, through all the new, dangerous, and hostile features that have come with this update. What do I mean by this? Well, there is a new map known as the Hospital, which we will investigate after we go through all of the original maps. But that's not all, dear viewers. We're also going to be subjected to the fact that the ghosts can now hunt now. Just like in Phasmophobia, they can track us down and kill us. So regardless of whether we survive or not, we're going to see what this update has in store. So I do have an idea of what to do in this scenario. I'm not going to take a flashlight. I'm just going to go with the night vision goggles and then I'll place everything else down as I go. I want to be as mobile as possible because if the ghosts can hunt, it's going to be quite a challenge to escape them if I can't really see. And before I forget, yes, Rhinox has provided us with something that will save us from the hunting ghosts. There are safety boxes over there in the corner, which we'll be using to a great extent because I really don't think I'm going to be able to outrun a ghost, but I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Oh, oh no, 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 oh, oh, no, 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 already? Ah, okay. Uh, uh, can you please stop? I really don't want to do this anymore. Uh, uh, I don't like this update. This is horrible. Oh, it's cutting me off. Oh no, it's learning. Uh, 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 please, why hasn't it stopped yet? Come on. Stop it! Come on! Oh, thank merciful heavens. Well, that was awful. That was my first ever uh, attack by a ghost while it's hunting. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Well, so much for the light. Uh, where are you? <laughs> That's my first question. I kind of know where you are already. I don't really want to experience that again. Do you want to play? Um, well, I guess I found out. Uh, oh, oh no, please, not again. Uh, uh, is it gone? Oh, you took my spirit box. Okay. Um, well, you're evil. I'm sorry, I'm terrified. I don't, I don't want to be in here anymore. I'm gonna go outside for a little bit. So, uh, I guess you can kind of kite the ghosts a little bit, so that's good food for thought. However, uh, I, I guess you have to really be quick. Uh, you've got to be kidding me. It hasn't even done anything super hostile yet. Yeah, wow. This is pretty well par for the course. Anyways, as I was saying, I guess you can use the quote-unquote safety boxes to hide yourself which is something that I noticed at least right from the get-go. And watching all of you attempt this before I did since I was on a mini vacation. But nevertheless, uh, yeah, uh, the hunting ramps everything up quite a bit. Holy Christmas. Okay, so we know you're hostile to a very, very scary degree. Did you do anything while I was monologuing out here? Let's find out. Well, I don't see any ghost writing, at least not yet. So I don't know if it is anything demonic, but I guess we'll just have to figure that out when we get in there. All of that for one piece of evidence, I swear. Okay, well, we're gonna quickly get in here and uh, get our bearings real quick. Oh, please, no, don't do that. Turn it back on, turn it back on. Thank you, gosh. <laughs> Oh no. 
Okay. Oh no, it is a talker. Oh! Back outside. We're gonna figure out what this thing is real quick. Okay, well, uh, it's gonna be two options. Why on heaven's green earth does it have to be these two? It's either gonna be a demon where it requires the ghost writing, or it's a spirit and it needs EMF readings. Now, here's a little secret here, folks. That ghost was in the room with me, running around, and I did deploy the EMF, and it didn't go off. I'm just saying. I'll take one more round in here. I'm sorry, that little glitch kind of made me jump. I'm not gonna lie. The uh, the phasing of the uh, light switch in the distance there, kind of in and out of existence, really, uh, really did a number on my psyche. Anyways. Oh, you are a demon. Okay, well, we don't have to be in here anymore. Goodbye. Why is it always a demon on the very first map? I swear to unholy goodness. Not only that, but when I entered next to the couch of safety, the safetiness went from a level of 100 down to negative 1,000. I had to run for my life. Thanks, couch of safety. Anyways, we are going to move on to the apartment. This'll be fun. And we're going to see what we're going to run into there. Better not be another experience like the street house. One thing I did notice right away is that the ghost spawns are a little different than they used to be. I guess I didn't really get a chance to look at all the patch notes, but I did recall Rynex saying that there would be more dynamic spawning. Nevertheless, uh, <laughs> okay, let's figure out what's going to happen in here. Oh, goodness. Okay. Can you just give me a chance to set up here? Like, I, I swear. This is... This is already horrifying. No, I pushed the wrong button. Let's, let's get on track here. I'm a little shaken after my first bout of, uh, ghost hunting. It does give me shades of phasmophobia. I will admit that. Oh, good. Safety boxes. Keep that in mind. Safety box down there. Good. Oh. Uh... Hi! Cold spots. Gotcha. Where? Oh! 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 I went up to a new octave there. That's different. <sighs> okay. We got cold spots, so that's good. Um. Let's see what the camera has to show us. Anything? Anything at all? I am literally begging you at this point. Because I don't really want to have a ghost spawn behind me. Like it just did there. Well, I don't see anything. At least not yet. So I guess we're going to have to go in and unfortunately subject ourselves to more of the torment. The nightmare is real, folks, and it's here in Phantom Investigation. Um, old spot, he's here. Let's just make sure we're back here, just, just in case. Not really enjoying, uh, enjoying the prospect of dying in the apartment here. Oh. Uh, well, I can hear you, but I can't see you. Ooh. I dare venture forward. Will our brave hero goalie meet his untimely demise? Well, not yet. So we got cold spots, but nothing really else. EMF hasn't gone off yet. Spirit boxes. Then I guess nothing. Could it be a gelin? I really hope so, because they don't really interact with you that much. That would be a blessing in disguise at this rate. Can they all just be gelins at this point? And they just stay the furthest place they could possibly be away from me. Cause that'd be pretty ding dang nice. This might go down as one of the loudest recording sessions I've ever had. I really hope that uh, people don't think I'm crazy. <laughs> like there's people walking outside, hearing some guy yelling at his computer screen. Yeah, no, oh, well, I guess that guy's got good reason. 
Oh boy. It's getting real, folks. Oh no. Please. Not like this! Well... I wanna get wo- Getting a little creeped out here. Getting real creeped out. Can I go turn on the power? Safely? I can. Sweet. Uh oh. Well that's not good. That means bad things are gonna happen. You just do all the bad things in front of me, then I can- Then I can leave. Okay. You're in the kitchen. The worst spot of them all. At least in the apartment. Um... Okay. Uh, oh. Oh, you did double writing. Oh wow, you really don't like me. Okay, well we're just gonna double chalk that up here, if you don't mind me. So we got two options here. It's either gonna be a shy and it requires something evil to happen, or it's a gelin and it requires ghost orbs. So I get the feeling it is probably a gelin. Just saying, because it, it really, really is giving me that... For goodness sake, it turned off all the lights. Okay. Well... Oh no, it only turned off the kitchen. Okay, good. It's, uh, it's fine by me. So in this case, I really only need to see passive stuff. So would you kindly do that for me? In some degree. Oh. Asking he shall receive, I guess. Where the heck was that, though? Um... Oh, the bedroom. I don't want to go in there. That's like a kill zone. The point of no return, folks. We ain't going in there. Let's do the camera stuff real quick. Maybe it's a gel and it needs to have us out of the room. Or the apartment. All the rooms. So that I can really strut stuff. Come on, now. Oh! You gonna do some ghost orbs for us? Yes? No? Maybe so? Did the darkness get up? Uh, oh. Oh, okay. That situation got rectified. I was gonna say the darkness looks a lot darker than normal, which, uh, I don't like. Especially when there are things that can actively hunt and kill me now. You haven't popped out and done anything evil yet. So... What's it gonna be? The darkness has returned, but still, nothing yet. Oh. Well, I see the ghost. I don't see any orbs, though. So now I'm a little conflicted. Oh. Um. Okay, going back in. Maybe his last words. Uh. Okay, ghost. I did ask for a quiet factor to, you know, be present, but this is almost too quiet. Uh-oh. Well, it's still doing things. Uh, okay. Woo! <laughs> Let's just stop that. Let's just stop that. Oh. Oh. Okay. Well, there goes all the power. Maybe I'll see the orbs a lot easier this way. It just, it hasn't knocked anything out of my hands and it hasn't pushed me, so... I'm a little confused. I wouldn't be surprised if it's a gelm because, I mean, if it was a shy, I would have been attacked by now. Like, I would have been running, screaming for my life and hiding or, I don't know, I'm kiting the ghosts around yet another couch. One thing I will note is that it seems like Phantom Investigation is running a lot smoother than it used to. Like, walking around in different areas is a lot more buttery smooth, at least it, well, at least when looking at my frame rates and latency. So I don't know if that was something that I did on my end because I have been playing around with the graphics on my computer, but if it is on Rhinox's end, whichever it is, I'm a happy camper, especially if I have to run away screaming from a ghost. It makes it that much easier where you know your movements are going to be placed. Speaking of knowing where things are going to be placed, where the heck are these orbs? Or things that are evil? I swear, there's nothing happening. Do I have to go in there again? I really don't want to. Come on. Uh, 
There's two orbs. And I can go. Or even not. Oh. Well, did that preemptively. That's bad. Eh. Oh. Oh, maybe a good thing. Hide. Okay. Oh. Oh. Uh. 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 Oh. Okay. There be some hunting happening here. us? I think. Okay. Um, well. Is it done? Nope. Still going. Man, these hunts are long. At least they feel long. Oh, got brighter. Okay, good. Woo! Okay. Well, that was one hunt. It's still a... Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Let's just take our chance and get out of here. I think it's... I think it's a gelin. It hasn't knocked anything out of my hands. Like, there's no way it's a shy. A shy would have done something purely evil at this point. Throwing that ghost knowledge at y'all. Okay, well, we survived the apartment. Thank goodness it was a gelin. All right, well, I took a look at the forest just out of curiosity because it'd be kind of weird if you had boxes stacked all over the place. And uh, this is just coming from me, playing it for the first time. I didn't see anything there. So this is going to be uh, a situation where we will have to put on our running shoes and book it. So, uh... Let's see how this goes. Okay, let's load up and see what we can do against this evildoer. Well, I guess it's not necessarily evil. It's just, it's, it's just apparent that it can do harmful things to us. Okay, so I'm going to place down my EMF. Put down camera. And I'm going to go get my other stuff. Now, the only benefit is is that I have light that cannot be turned off, which is good. I like that. But as for everything else, I guess the only thing I can really say is that this ghost basically is gonna see us the entire time, which is not good. So we best be careful. Keep our eyes on a swivel. Well, Mr. Ghost, where are you? Not getting anything on the technology here. I saw- Oh no! Let's just go back here for a second. Oh boy. It's playful. Don't like that. Means we're gonna get attacked a lot more often. Yippee. Why? Why couldn't you just be another Jalen? Although it would take a lot longer, I'd have a little bit more sanity left in me. Nothing on the camera? You don't even want to dance around the EMF there and make it go off? Ooh, orbs. Okay, cool. I'll take that. Okay, horrifying nightmares. Probably par for the course since two of them are really, really, really creepy. And the other one's just a absolute nightmare when it gets going. So it's either going to be a dupey and requires an EMF reading, but it didn't do anything when it was over the area where the EMF was, so that's probably off the list. It could be a debuck, meaning I need ghostwriting. Or it could be a shade and I need temperature readings, but here's the thing. When the ghost was nearby, pushing the box, and then pushing me, it didn't do anything. So debuck question mark? So everything I have here is basically useless. Um, I could try throwing on the night vision goggles so I could see all the ghost writing it could do or not do. I'm really not looking forward to running from this thing. Oh, as if on cue. All right. 
Fair enough. I guess I'm ready. I've got my pinky on the shift button. My sprint button is ready to be activated. Here's the thing. Could you activate some ghost riding so I can get the heck and heck out of here? I'm really not keen on uh, being attacked here. I'll keep the thermometer going just because I do think there's a chance that I get Maybe a late temperature reading? I'm not getting anything. I don't feel like venturing forward very far. Guess I'll try. Maybe... Maybe go this way? Um... I, I, I swear, I, I thought... Ooh! 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 No! Wait, no. Save the sprint meter. Don't be dumb. This thing's gonna come at you. And it ain't gonna be pretty. Just make sure that you listen and look at the lights. It is real quiet. I don't like that. What the heck is this thing? Like, seriously? Mr. Ghost? Oh, that wasn't very nice of you. Just show off your artistic skills or your calligraphy and uh, we'll call it a night. Yes. Oh no! No! Why is it hat man? Go! Oh no, the sprint mirror's not working. Go! Reload! Quickly! Oh. I guess it doesn't work when it's attacking you. That's kind of cool. I didn't know that. Oh no. Oh no. I'm going. Come on, it's right behind me. Ooh. Still attacking? I guess it is. Flashing lights mean bad. Is it still going? Am I safe? I guess so. Okay. Well, crisis averted, I guess. Made it out in one piece. Oh! Maybe not! Oh! No! Please! Not like this! Please! I have nowhere to hide. This is awful. Well, I think. I think we're gonna have to make a cho- Why'd it get dark all of a sudden? That was kind of weird. Uh... Okay. Um... I- I don't think... It can be anything other than... A debuck. Yeah, I was gonna say process of elimination there, because uh, it just, it did so much to dissuade me from the other two. So, there you go. Three maps down, two more to go. So I guess we're going to the general store. I don't like that prospect, because it's weird. Really weird. And I don't really know what to expect. So I guess, uh, I guess we'll just have to find out.
So we're gonna take this... I guess I can't really say slow, because if I'm too slow, I get caught and I die. So we're gonna go medium speed, if that makes any sense. I'm gonna place down the thermometer here. Thermometer. The camera there, and then the EMF. I'm gonna go get my tech, and we're going to survive. Right? Right. So just in case, um, I don't know if it's a smart idea to sit at my old spot, or should I go for the boxes, which are in here, conveniently. Maybe we'll just sit here for a little bit. Hunkered down in our little spot. Maybe that's the plan, because I don't really want to die. That's not ideal. Oh. Oh no. It's hunting. Oh no, please. Oh, please. Why? Why so early? Is it still doing it? Nope. Not anymore. I don't think. Oh, orbs. Okay. Uh, you're really active for some reason. I don't like that. Look at me. Cowering in a corner. Oh man, this is what the hunting has reduced me to. It's uh, it's definitely amped up the uh, the creepy factor and the, the horror factor. Okay, so I don't have anything going on with the EMF or the thermometer or the spirit box. I'm just gonna peek out here, maybe. I'm gonna go to my camera, and we'll just kind of focus down that one little aisle there, and we're gonna see if we can catch the ghost in the act. Oh! Well, that was smart of me. Okay, so we got EMF. That's cool. Um... But now what could you be? Four ghosts, holy moly. So it's either a poltergeist, and I need ghost riding, a wailing soul, and I need spirit box activity, a hoopia, and I need temperature readings, or it's a doopy and it has to be playful, evil, whatever you want. So I can potentially nix out the hoopia and the wailing soul, but the other two are still possibilities. Back into the video. Oh wow, you really, really like that EMF, okay. Oh. Holy Christmas, leave it alone! I only put enough batteries in there for one night. You're gonna burn it out in like two hours. Um, well, uh, if you really like the EMF, could you do something else? Maybe? Holy Christmas, leave it alone. I know there are some spots nearby the EMF that it could produce the ghost riding, but I mean, it is super deep duper active. Am I really sure it's not a Wailing Soul? Because Wailing Souls, they, uh, they're not... Oh, wow, it just opened the door there. Okay. Wow. You are really active. Whatever you are, you are going absolutely ham on the general store. I really hate to tell the people that own this place, uh, you, you may just want to burn this to the ground. Hey, man, do something. I don't want to go back in there. Scary things happen. Did you literally just... It sounded like it killed the power again, but the power's still off. Not really sure what to think about that. It double killed the power. Okay, there are the orbs. I seize you, but are you gonna do something else? Should I stick my head in there really quickly and do a quick spirit box reading? All right, here I go. Um, anything? 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 Please? Anything? You know what, I'm gonna try turning on the power. Famous last words once again. Haha, uh -huh, I turned your power on. What do you think of that? My patience with you is wearing thin. Nothing? Nothing to say? I thought so- OH NO! No! Ah!
Well, that's what I get. I mocked the ghost, and it killed me. Okay, so, uh, I guess we had to have one death during this playthrough, and, uh, fitting that it was on the general store. So, uh, from there, I will honor my statement at the beginning of this playthrough, and, uh, if I die, I die. I'm not going to return to it, so we're going to move on. And this time, we're moving to the new map, the hospital. So I watched a few playthroughs that people have done already, and my goodness, the hospital is massive. So this could be interesting for a number of reasons, mainly because I don't really know where the ghosts are going to spawn. And also, I, I have an idea of where to hide, but it may be another situation where I have to run. So uh, here goes nothing. Okay, the hospital. So this, uh, from the recordings that I saw, it's a very, very big map. Not as big as the forest would be, but it's still fairly large, you know, comparatively speaking. So we're going to keep on our toes. I know where I can hide, and I, I guess in some sense I know how to evade the ghost, but I really hope I don't have to do that. Let's just figure out what we're... Oh. Oh boy, it's a talker. Well, let's just put that on our handy dandy list and continue on. Um, do you want to play? Oh, no, 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 please. Why? Why? Okay, I don't even have to look at the list. I know what it could or could not be. Um. Oh, no. I don't want to go in there now. I know what it could be. Just sit on the camera. Can you just do something on the EMF? That's all I need. And then I'm done. And then I can leave you alone. Oh, look! The power's out! Lovely! You know what? I actually have not seen what this looks like in the dark. Let's just take a quick little peek. Oh, sweet merciful heavens. I can't see. At all. You... You have to be kidding. Okay. Well... EMF set up. Let's go, uh... Let's go look at that real quick. Holy Christmas tree. This is... This is... <laughs> this is awful. I am glad... To some degree... Oop. Okay. Uh, as I was saying... I am glad... To some degree... That it is either a demon or a spirit. Because... I basically just have to wait for the EMF to go off. And if it doesn't, then I have my answer, which is good. I'm just hoping that the spirit isn't smart and stays away from the EMF and then I'm tricked. But nevertheless, we're just going to have to work with what we got. Do I do I dare venture into the dark void that is the hospital? It's a demon, I swear gotta be. There's no way that it isn't. Mm -hmm. Do something? Uh oh. Okay. Well, you're not, you're not gonna do anything. I, I like that part. I really like that part. Um. Oh, hello. Should I put the EMF down there? You know what? We might have to do that. This is a really stupid idea, but, uh, I'll be ready to run, just in case. Nope, goalie, don't use the sprint meter. Oh no. Quick. Ooh. Wow. Okay. I did it. It's done. Now, to just, oh, I, I, I swear if that closed there, I would have absolutely shrieked. 
Uh, now I'm going to use the camera and focus in on the EMF in the distance there, and we will see if it trips, because that's where the ghost was. So, come on EMF, do your stuff. I'm not seeing anything. At least not yet. Um, well, if it's more active, it should have done something by now. So, you know what? Let me try this little trick here. So we'll throw on night vision. Boom. Okay. Perfect. That worked. All right. Now, we wait for some ghost writing or the EMF to go off. I don't know where the ghost writing could pop up, but if the EMF is really not going off at this point, I do not know what to think. Because I, you, you saw it, I saw it. The EMF, that spot right there, that's where the ghost was. It's a sheet ghost. It's either a sheet demon or a sheet spirit. Uh, oh. Doing something. Doing something spooky. But where? Oh nuts. Do I do I dare venture into this? Mm. Mm. Going for a little walk. Don't see anything. Oh boy. Oh, okay. Good thing I waited. Okay, EMF. Good. Let me out. Let me out. Go, sprint button. No, please. Oh, oh, I gotta tell you. The moment that sprint meter finishes and you still got a ways to go to get out of the map. That's the real nightmare. Holy. Okay. I was wrong. It's not a demon. But I'm just glad that this playthrough is over. Oh. This playthrough took so much out of me, I didn't even choose the ghost. Okay. Now it's over. Holy cow, this playthrough had everything. It had a real terrifying introduction to what hunting is like. Then it had a little bit of a, an ebb where I had a really easy ghost. I liked that part. Really wish that was the whole playthrough. And then I had basically a trek through the woods where I had to outrun the ghost, which was interesting. Then I died, didn't like that part. And then I had the brand new map, which I guess in some sense was a little bit anticlimactic, but hey, listen, a win's a win. So overall, I really enjoy the additions that the 1.10 update brought to Phantom Investigation. Now, whether or not I'm going to enable hunting all the time is a different story entirely. I think I may enable it sometimes, but if I'm doing challenges that are a little complex, even for me, I may just have it off. Just, you know, just to make sure that I don't form a new heart condition that I didn't have prior to this. But at the end of the day, I think we all should give Rhinox a round of applause because he worked really, really hard on this update and he made an outstanding addition to his baby. This is his baby and he's taken really good care of it. There aren't too many people that come back to their maps and put as much effort into redoing things and fixing stuff and making new creative additions like he's done. So everybody, give him as much praise as possible because he deserves it. But this is our conclusion of the 1.10 update with hunting. I will be back multiple times to play this because this has breathed new life into Phantom Investigation. Anyways, I'll see you soon, guys.